So one of my most popular videos ever on my channel is actually a COD World War 2 armory credits glitch. And I still get comments on it to this day asking me if it still works. Even more so now obviously because the game is free to play. So today I thought I'd make an updated video about how you can actually get armory credits. So first up if you are new to the game I'll just quickly showcase a few of these simple ways you can actually get your credits up. And just quickly in case you were wondering how I'm moving around while emoting, all you have to do is sprint then spam the d-pad or whichever emote you want to use just spam the button for it while sprinting and then you'll be able to move around while emoting okay let's get straight into things and the first way to get army credits as soon as you load up the game you do get a login bonus so once you keep logging in for consecutive days that bonus will go up so just make sure you keep logging into the game and collecting your army credits that way and then the next simple way is going into your mail office and there should be 200 army credits in there for you i think it's like every four hours or so i can't remember but for me you see it says 300 that's because i'm prestige master but if you are just a regular prestige or not prestige it will be 200 so just go ahead and collect your mail and then if you are in the headquarters or you can do it from the main menu as well you can go over to major howard and he will have some challenges there which you can complete so you can see i've got these two on here which will both give me 300 army credits once i complete them and another a big way to get army credits is actually through duplicates so say you've done a challenge you've got a supply drop and then you open up that supply drop and one of the items you already have so for example here i get that heroic but i've already got it you actually get 1100 army credits back and then if you go all the way down to the bottom of the headquarters to the 1v1 pit, if you do play a 1v1 game, you do get social score, and social score is actually really important to getting more army credits. So the different ways you actually do get your social score up is like I said from the 1v1 pit. Also, if you go up to a player and then press square or X and then you commend them. So I recommend all of you people that are new, be nice to each other and then hold down square and commend each other to get your social score up. And you also get it up by watching other people open up supply drops and now i'm just going to quickly tell you why social score is so important so once you get to your first level in social score the reward is actually 500 army credits and then if you keep leveling it up and get to social rank 4 you actually get a reward of 1000 army credits and then again if you keep leveling it up and at level 9 you get 3500 army credits and then again at rank 14 you get 10,000 army credits and then lastly when you get to social rank 17 you get 15,000 army credits now i'm obviously max level in social rank because i used to play it a lot when it came out and once you actually do get to max rank you do get the verification badge so now getting into the actual glitch part of the armory credits now i would recommend you do all of the other things i said as well but this is just a bonus way you can actually get your credits up while not even playing the game so it's basically just an afk glitch so pretty much all you need to do is hop into a headquarters and then i recommend you do the jumping jack emoji or you don't have to you can just stand there you can sit down you can do any emoji you want but just make sure you're like standing in the middle in like a good location in the headquarters you can actually watch people open up supply drops and stuff like that or just in a location where you're going to be seen and then once you've done that all you need to do is go into your menu and then go over to the clan tag and just make sure you've got the clan tag bit open so like you're pretending you're going to put in a different clan tag and this will make sure you don't actually get kicked from the headquarters and you can just stay in there for an unlimited amount of time and honestly there's not much else to it you need to just do that stay afk in the headquarters and this is obviously best for like i said do the other things first but then do this as well say you want to leave it on overnight just leave your playstation or xbox on overnight just sit afk in the headquarters and then while you're sleeping or whatever or maybe you're at work or at school and you want to leave it on just when you come back you should have a lot more army credits now you actually get these like i said from watching people open up the supply drops will actually level up your social score which will give you a big boost and there's obviously random events in the headquarters as well so you'll be a part of those and you'll get army credits and just in general they actually just go up and just to quickly prove this to you i'll showcase now in the top right how many army credits i have at the moment of recording this part and then i'm going to leave myself in the headquarters afk and then we'll see how many i've got after like a couple of hours and one other thing quickly i forgot to mention that you can actually go into the zombies mode on world war 2 as well and there are also orders in there you can complete to get yourself some extra armory credits and also when i was talking about social score earlier you can also go into major howard and there are sometimes challenges in there to get your social score up all right then so i'm back now in the headquarters after a little bit of time and just quickly you can see the player over here has the blue on their name 
that actually means they're verified so if you ever see me in a lobby it's a shame you i can't see myself but my name will be like that as well because once you get to max social score that is how your name changes but yeah let's now quickly look at how many army credits i do have now i left my game for a few hours and we can see here i now have 15,815 so obviously before i had like 12,000 and something and now i'm nearly at 16,000 so almost a boost in 4,000 army credits there just from obviously like i said make sure you keep collecting your mail and also do complete major how challenges and then just do this afk as well as just completing those other ones and they will go up quite a lot this is what i used to do to get my dlc weapons and stuff i used to always sit afk in the headquarters so obviously i did mention about how you should leave on overnight but the only problem with that is if you are from a certain country the lobby you'll go into will be quite empty because obviously if you leave it on overnight not many people are going to be playing so the best way to get around this if you have any friends from different countries try like joining their game and then going into a headquarters and then leaving yourself afk just because in your sleeping hours there will still be people online during that time so obviously the busier the headquarters the better this was obviously a better glitch in the prime time of the game as well because there was more people around and if you have watched this far into the video i just want to say that i'm not sure how many more world war 2 videos i'm going to be making because obviously there's a lot of new stuff coming out on modern warfare soon but if you are someone who's new to this game or you're just enjoying playing it at the moment you can always follow me on twitter which will be in the description and you can message me on there with any questions you do have and i'll help you out because like i said i might not be making any more videos on the game but maybe i will depends if i'm still playing it so now i've shown you the methods on how to get armor credits you might be wondering if you are new to the game what you actually do with them so if you go into your quartermaster we do have different contracts in here and you can actually spend your army credits on these so for example 5000 army credits you can actually unlock the challenge to get this weapon here i haven't actually done that one myself but yeah sometimes that changes like over time so there'll be different weapons in there or you can go into your collections and this is what i used to do so say we go into the days of summer event and you can get dlc weapons this way so say you wanted to get the ribby rolls here all you had to do was with your army credits purchase each one of these and then eventually once you've done that you will able to get the breezy here as the epic variant for that gun and again here we've got another one you can do this with any of these events any of the weapons you wanted I'm pretty sure they're not still updating this game with new DLC weapons, there's just going to be the same ones, but yeah, that's what you actually spend your army credits on. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video today on army credits in Cold World War 2 in 2020. So hopefully this means a lot more people will be coming from my other video that keep messaging me if it still works and checking out this video. Because the method still does work as an AFK glitch, it's just not as effective as it used to be because of how many people are playing the game. But like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Or you can follow me and message me on Twitter and I'll get back to you on there as well. And yeah, drop a like if you did enjoy and make sure you do subscribe and notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. And like I said, follow me on Twitter and my Instagram will be in the description below. And I'll see you next time.